Every building uses energy in hundreds of ways. Lighting, air conditioners, computers, elevators – all depend on energy. With increased energy consumption, greenhouse gas emitted from buildings is also growing. Worldwide, the highest ever emissions from electricity and commercial heat was recorded in 2019. In Bangladesh, electricity consumption is growing alongside rapid economic growth. The Bangladesh Energy Efficiency and Conservation Master Plan up to 2030 aims to reduce 20% primary energy consumption from 2013 levels. To achieve the government's vision of green development, we must take immediate actions to be more energy efficient. The Sustainable and Renewable Energy Development Authority Shredda, cooperating with GIZ Bangladesh, has implemented the very first project on public building energy efficiency in the country. Study on Energy Efficiency in Public Buildings in Bangladesh EAPB, with a grant from Kigali Cooling Efficiency Program. The implementation was supported by GIZ sector project Proclima and Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank AIIB. EAPB was launched on 5th December 2019 in the presence of Senior Secretary of Power Division and Secretary of Ministry of Housing and Public Works of Bangladesh. Under EEPB, a consortium of local and international experts conducted energy audits in 12 public buildings. Nine buildings are located in the capital Dhaka and three were outside. Initially, level 1 walkthrough audits were conducted, followed by detailed level 2 energy audits, according to international ASHRAE standards. Energy efficiency in public building is a unique project in many ways. This is the first of this kind in Bangladesh. We study not only look into the aspects of the energy efficiency and conservation, but also on the inclusion of renewable energy, for example, rooftop solar. As our energy consumption changes with the seasons, audits were conducted both in summer and winter months. The audit reports revealed that in these 12 public buildings alone, 1.05 million kilowatt hours could be saved. Additionally, through installing rooftop solar, 10 of the 12 buildings could generate 0.97 million kilowatt hours per year. It can reduce GHG emissions, equivalent to replacing 26,000 incandescent bulbs with LED lights. Through better insulation, retrofitting, replacement of inefficient appliances and introducing rooftop solar systems, there is scope to save an astounding 11 to 15 million kilowatt hours of energy in public buildings under the Public Works Department in Dhaka. This is equivalent to energy used by 1,000 homes in a year. Implementation of audit recommendations will bring in a carbon dioxide reduction of approximately 8,000 tons per year, equivalent to carbon sequestered by more than 100,000 trees over 10 years. Less consumption means less electricity generation. The government's electricity expenses will be reduced by 1.3 to 1.8 million dollars per year. Public buildings consume a substantial amount of energy. So it is very important to make public buildings energy efficient. SEDA has already drafted the standard and labeling regulations for electrical appliances. Once this regulation takes effect, it would be easier for the public procurement authority to evaluate and procure energy efficient appliances. The project has come with several knowledge products for future program development and extrapolation of energy efficiency potential along with the 12 detailed energy audit report. There are more than 13,000 public buildings under PWD. Imagine how much energy could be saved. An executive summary of all 12 audit reports has been prepared to support the government with key data to implement the audit results. EAPP has identified best available technologies in terms of GHG emission reduction, energy efficiency and cost-saving potential for active and passive cooling, lighting and rooftop solar. The public procurement practice has been assessed under the scope of the Global Public Procurement Study of Green Cooling. This will enable policymakers to tackle the barriers preventing green cooling in public procurement. 
Undoubtedly, this is a good initiative. I think this type of initiative ultimately will help our nation regarding efficient energy management. The key outcome of EEPB is the creation of a multi-stakeholder platform for energy efficiency in the building sector. All key stakeholders have played significant roles to make the project a success. Based on learnings from EEPB, Bangladesh can adopt new approaches and implement national-scale programs to ensure an energy-efficient and sustainable building sector. Together, we can build a better future.